Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of On the Avenue. With this being the last episode of Black History Month, we wanted to center this episode around the celebration of the arts. We as a people have found so many ways to display our talents. Now, speaking of music, I think my next guest needs no introduction. Okay, everyone, so I am here with Minister Leon Christopher Lewis, our Minister <laughs> of Music here at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. How long have you been Minister of Music here? Eight years. Eight years. But in you've been... fact, okay. in April of this year, nine years. Nine yeah. years? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, you've been, you've been at Wheeler though for 10 years, ten right? 10 years. Okay. And so I started going to Wheeler in college, so 2015. Oh. And I remember whenever I first started going versus like the music ministry now, Yeah. complete difference complete difference and I, I'm sure that credit goes to you, but what was your vision? <laughs> like, like the football players, to the Lord. <laughs> no, no, seriously, all, all to the Lord. No, I will get into that yeah. later. What was your vision? I've asked you this before, but what was your vision? Tell us, the audience of On the Avenue, what your vision was going into being Minister of Music at Wheeler. Um, well, first of all, I had to pray for a vision. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things you see now from uh, the band and the choirs, everybody kind of operating as one. Mm -hmm. That all started from the initial vision when um, Pastor Cosby uh, and the staff asked me to assume the responsibility mm -hmm. of uh, Minister of Music mm -hmm. on April 15th, Tax Day, okay. <laughs> 2014. And uh, of course, you know, obviously I accepted that responsibility and from there, all I had was prayer. There's no manual, there's no rule book, there's no guide on how to be a minister of music. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the Lord's work. So I decided to put the Lord first and pray for a vision of how to lead his people and how to grow the ministry and be as effective as I can be in supporting pastor and also uh, supporting the various ministries uh, of the church. So from that prayer, the vision was birthed. And um, from that vision, from that prayer, that vision, what you see now and the vision is still right. manifesting itself right. over time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was actually going to be my next follow-up question. Do you think your vision has come to life? Completely? Not completely, <laughs> but I know you still have some oh, yeah. other things up your sleeve. Yeah, so um, if I had to quantify it in terms of percentages, right? Uh, from 2014 to now, I think the Lord has allowed me to manifest uh, or manifest through me and the team that I work with about maybe 45, 50% mm -hmm. of what I saw. Yeah. Or, or envision uh, back in uh, 2014. So well, it's that's still exciting, unfolding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's more I to still come. Have <laughs> more to come. <laughs> You're like, I won't tell too much, but there's still more to <laughs> come. There is still more to come. Okay, so let's speak to Black History Month. You know, it's Black History Month. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating. What is the music ministry doing to celebrate Black History? Okay, so the music and fine arts ministry uh, doing uh, quite a few things. The first thing is. Uh, trying to keep the main thing, the main thing, which is taking care of Sunday mornings. Absolutely. So on Sunday mornings, uh, we have three vignettes that we are uh, producing and okay. presenting to our congregation and the World Wide Web. Uh, so we are taking it from the aspect of the main national theme, which is black resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, so our take on that theme uh, for vignette one is black resistance, um, time for a change, okay. right? Which we did on the second Sunday. Third Sunday is going to be Black Resistance, Let's Make a Change, mm -hmm. and that's gonna deal more with civil rights. Uh, week one dealt more with uh, what happened, slavery through emancipation. Now we're in the civil rights portion okay. of it. And then week three, uh, is when is this gonna air? Tuesday, 21st. Okay, all right. Is it gonna be a secret? You gotta be at church. <laughs> <laughs> Teaser. Right, right, okay. Now what is this, there's also something else happening, a musical yes. celebration happening. So um, that is, uh, I just gave you what's gonna happen internally here mm -hmm. uh, on Sundays, but no one wants to miss Friday, February 24th mm -hmm. at 7.30 p.m. right here in the cathedral. We're gonna be in partnership with the Houston Grand Opera mm -hmm. for a concert entitled Giving Voice. Okay. Uh, the Giving Voice participants are gonna be uh, the Wheeler Avenue Mass Choir. And then there's gonna be another um, mass choir of sorts that is gonna feature members from the Wheeler Avenue Mass Choir, members from the Houston Ebony Opera Guild, okay. members from the Texas Southern University Concert Choir, okay. members of the Prairie View a &M <laughs> University okay. Choir, and members from the Houston um, Opera Chorus. 
Wow. And then do we have any special guests that are being highlighted? Yes, we evening? have several special guests. Okay. Let me say that the um, uh, vision of this Giving Voice concert was sparked by a gentleman named uh, Lawrence Brownlee. Okay. Lawrence Brownlee is an outstanding African-American opera tenor. Okay. And uh, he brought this vision to the Houston Grand Opera uh, four years ago. This would be the fourth year mm -hmm. of Giving Voice. And the Houston Grand Opera decided to part partner with our little church here and we're gonna do it big to kind of close out and culminate Black History Month. In addition to that, uh, there are gonna be two very special honorees. One is a guy by the name of uh, Mr. George Shirley, mm -hmm. who was very significant uh, in the early days of pioneering uh, African-Americans in the genre of opera. Uh, so he's gonna be here as the special guest, gonna be honored and featured. Uh, he was also one of the original three Mo tenors. Okay. So you definitely want, don't wanna miss that. And I hear that he may perform a song or two. So looking wow, forward to that. Wow, it's going to be a really yeah. good night. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. you mentioned it's their fourth Giving yeah, Voice. Yeah, but I, I, I have to mention this one oh, yeah. special honoree. We're also honoring our own Pastor Emeritus, oh, yeah. Reverend William Alexander Lawson. Mm -hmm. While he is not a vocalist, he has given voice to so many, uh, the Come least, on. the left, the left, the, uh, the least, the left out and the lost yes. in this community. So his voice, while it is not a singing voice, it has been a powerful speaking voice, voice. over the decades. Yeah. And we're gonna honor our Pastor Emeritus as well. How did we get, cause you said this is their fourth concert mm -hmm. and this is the first time that Wheeler's been a part of it, right? Yes. How did we get that partnership? We got that partnership uh, because the Lord just blessed us. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one not way. Honestly. And then two, uh, I would say um, we had a young lady used to be on staff here. Her name is Dr. Kiana Williams, and she now works with the Houston Grand Opera. So with that connection, they uh, knew that she was a part of Wheeler Avenue at yeah. some point. So she is the bridge, if you will, that connected the partnership between Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church and the Houston Grand Opera. And I owe her a great debt of gratitude yeah, uh, for night. her connectivity and connecting these two entities together. Definitely a big night, and we're excited to be yes. a part of it. Yes. But I want to know if you're able to tell us, will we be performing anything from Chapters and Verses for the night? Of course. you know that's my favorite <laughs> album, right? <laughs> it's mine too. <laughs> I've been listening to it literally every single day wow. since it's come out, honestly. Wow. And I've told you this before, this is nothing new, but literally it's like the perfect getting ready for your day type of album. Yeah ending your day type of album like yeah. there's something on that album for every single person and it's blessed me completely wow and i'm sure everyone else if you haven't heard it pause this video right now and go listen to chapters and verses yeah. my favorite stream track. it right stream it purchase it download it there's a and then there's also something else coming that i won't speak about because he'll probably well <laughs> you'll just follow us on social media and you'll see Please but do. it's a really really good album um my favorite song on the album <laughs> though i mean i have a few i have a few favorites track 13 though it's my favorite um, all things. All things, yeah. And you wrote all things, yeah, right? Yeah, I wrote that. Tell and me, paint the scene for me. Put this plug in. Yeah. And um, Dr. Keanu Williams is doing the lead vocals on that song. She was so intentional with her ministry oh in that song, yes. too. It has blessed me completely. Yeah. <laughs> but you wrote all things, track yes, 13. Tell me, paint the scene for me. So what was the season of your life that you were going through? What inspired those lyrics? Because they're really powerful. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. Uh, so in terms of how the song actually got its genesis, so uh, we do something here every year, uh, pre-pandemic for sure, mm -hmm. is bring in interns, uh, preaching interns mm -hmm. uh, during the summer. So one of the responsibilities of the interns, Pastor Cosby charges those interns to shadow a senior staff member. Okay. And uh, in one of those shadowing sessions, I had them and um, they were asking me, how do I go about, you know, writing a song if I can't find something that fit the, fits the pastor's theme. I said, well, basically it's the Bible, a pad and a pen, or I dictate something on my phone, things like that. So literally um, in that moment, I'm sitting at the piano uh, in the old sanctuary and I just started playing a melody on the piano. And then I turned to Romans 8:28, mm. And so the chorus that you hear and we know that all things came like that. Mm -hmm. The rest of the song was birthed out of just thinking through all the ways that I had to reflect mm -hmm. that all things have worked together for my good throughout my entire yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm about to get teary. I just thinking about because that <laughs> song really has. I mean, I, I keep saying it, but it right. really has blessed me. And then the exhortation right after, like you oh have to goodness. listen to those back to back. <laughs> you can't. You can't skip. It has to follow track 13 right. to track 14. And that is just, wow. 
I love it. Love it so much. Oh. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm really getting emotional. Church about it. Right. <laughs> I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. Okay. So let's talk about you had a listening party. Yes. For the album, right? Mm -hmm. How did that go for you? That went very well. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to Lemon Limelight uh, Public Relations, who set that whole piece up. Uh, also to Brother uh, Joseph Earl, mm -hmm. who made the connection uh, with that public relations firm. And we uh, were able to invite uh, several members of the radio community and the press mm -hmm. to be there. And it was a phenomenal event. We got some great feedback, oh, some good. honest feedback. Good. and But overall, everything uh, went well. And uh, that also... That session helped us to narrow down at least what the singles could yeah. be. Yeah. Can sure. we, do you know yet or can we know? No. <laughs> no. Stay tuned. So you have to stay tuned. Yeah. You got to follow us on all of our social media. Yes, so. please. Well, I wish we could have so much more time to talk, but I think that wraps up our time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much yeah. for birthing chapters and verses mm -hmm. and being obedient to what yeah. the Lord told you. Yeah. You have been a blessing to this church, mm -hmm. a blessing to me. So mm -hmm. I just appreciate you. And again, thank yeah. you so much for no, joining thank us today. You. But if you don't mind, I must say this one thing. Yes, of course. So uh, one of the things that I tell the team all the time is Sundays never stop coming. Yeah. And I cannot do this without the team yeah. that the Lord has blessed me to assemble. So from uh, Sister Willie May, I don't want to start calling names, but Sister <laughs> Willie May Sharp. I, I guess I've started now. Yeah, right? I list them all. <laughs> Brother Ron Johnson, Sister Olivia Mack, Brother uh, Anthony Tony Jones, Miss um, Treva, Sabrina, all the praise team members, the band for sure. Yeah. And um, we have literally over 200 plus choir members that give their time to come out every Tuesday yeah. and every Sunday to prepare and to bless the people of God with the spirit of excellence. Not just that, but even our fine arts ministries. Yeah. You know, they're all on display. Praise uh, this team. Month. Yes, praise team. Or praise and, Dan, sorry. Yeah. As pastor would say, Lottie Dottie and everybody. <laughs> right? uh, but I must give a shout out to the team because I can't do this by myself and yeah. bear this load of ministry. So I'm how can grateful. someone be a part of the team? Like quite, say they want to be a choir member. How do they go about joining? All right. Choir member. Yeah. Uh, we have rehearsal every Tuesday mm -hmm. in the sanctuary at 7 p.m. You just show up. Just show up. And okay. we, we got we got the rest from there. OK, right. nice. Well, you heard it here. And if it's any other ministry, just send me an email to send an email to L. Lewis at wheelofbc.org and I'll get, you, get that person plugged okay. in. Okay, and then also you can follow us on all of our social media platforms yeah. because we will be listing anything that we need volunteer opportunities for, um, just things like that. And also stay tuned for more chapters and verses content. Yes. I know, I know, I know a little secret <laughs> and I'm so excited about it. So I need y'all to follow us just so you can also join in on the fun with me. But thank you so much. Stream. For, yes, stream chapters and verses. But Download. You, download it. We have it in the bookstore for purchase. And again, much more to come. Thank you so much stream. for tuning in today. I will see you next time. Download. On the Avenue. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>